Mr. Prime Minister, welcome to CCTV News. I remember one of your ancient person, Marco Polo, of course, a so familiar name to Chinese and Italians. 13th century, he talked about Hangzhou, the city hosting G20 summit, as magnificent and noble city. This is an exact quote because at the time that was the capital city of the Southern Song Dynasty in China. And today, what kind of noble cause can China and Italian work together? Chinese people and Italian people are very strong friends. Exactly for the great power message by the past, you describe the Marco Polo and the <laughs> reaction of Marco Polo in Anjou. But we can discuss about uh, Matteo Ricci, mm -hmm. about a lot of people from China and Italy, from uh, Italy in China. So, first of all, we, we have to recognize this great friendship between our people. And then I think this friendship could become a very important asset for the future because G20 in Anjou it's a very great uh, opportunity in a strong moment of the international life of community. We have a lot of problems around the world, not mm. only in the economic field for the growth or for the inequality, but also for the difficulties around the world. So, Italy and China could use this friendship from the past to try to give a message of hope to the new generations and to our colleagues in this, uh, in this event. Mm. And you had a great bilateral meeting with the Chinese President Xi Jinping once you arrived in this town of Hangzhou. What did you say to one another? What about that ancient culture linking up to the future? I think we have a lot of opportunities in this way. Uh, surely we have a, a lot of opportunities to increase our bilateral relation and bilateral economic cooperation. But I think not only about economy, I think about the importance of growth, uh, of ch exchange of students, about the possible bilateral cooperation in uh, uh, Africa together. I think about the possibility of cooperation in the healthcare system. I believe the most important uh, quality of Italian people in this moment uh, is the great attention about food, healthcare, uh, lifestyle, combined together a good longevity with a good experience of life. And we discussed with President Xi Jinping also about that. China and Italy are very different uh, as, as size, as population. But I believe uh, they are the same uh, uh, approach uh, because this is a moment of structural reforms and these structural reforms have to transform mm. our country in country focused on the future. This is the link most important uh, after the conversation and the dialogue with the President Xi Jinping. And there are interesting ideas popping up all the time including OBOR, One Belt, One Road. Italy has been a country from the very beginning actively listening and even willing to participate. But how, Mr. Prime Minister? Action plans? Implementation plans? I think we have a lot of possibilities uh, um, if we follow one belt, one road. But in my mind, the priority is the decision achieved by Italian government to change the harbor and port regulation. This is very, very, very great opportunity. Why? Because uh, Italy is a land of sea mm -hmm. and uh, the conclusion of road from China to Europe could be exactly the Italian harbor, Italian ports. The real priority in this moment is decide the common investments, but today it's possible to consider one belt, one road, a great opportunity exactly, particularly, especially in this way. At the same time, I think we have a common goal, 2020, the, the last year of uh, 13 uh, uh, program of Chinese government, and at the same time, uh, the 50th anniversary of um, 
relation between uh, Italy and China. Mm. So 2020 could become a very great moment to show the concrete results of One Belt or Road in Italy.